Yo, what's going on, gangy? What's going on, gangy? You guys can see where we at. We in the My Player Builder. I just had to show you guys my newest, latest creation. You feel me? Like I'm like I'm some damn scientist. You know what I'm saying? Making a, a good My Player just makes you feel like a scientist sometimes. But I got a lot to talk about, bro. With season four and all this other stuff, something you have to know is that there's going to be a patch that's going to come out, bro. Like every season that come out this year. Since season one, by the way, since the release of the game, you can see season two, they had a patch at the very start of season two, where I think they nerfed shooting a little bit, or at least nerfed whites, you know, make shooting a little bit harder, but it didn't really, it didn't really, nobody really felt it as much because the nerf was like very minimal, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they could, you could feel like the shooting has changed everybody felt it i'm pretty sure nobody's going to sit here and say the shooting was not patched because it was if you guys know season one shooting was very overpowered like a lot of whites just went in for no apparent reason which is why everybody was complaining that yo what's going on and then 2k fixed it you know saying that was one of the complaints and then everybody knows about the patch that went on before season three dropped with the dribbling you know saying the dribbling speed and everything the left right zigzag cheese Everything else would like that was patched. You feel me? So season four, I feel like we should be expecting the same thing. And the thing is, what are we expecting? By the way, you feel? What? Yeah, we gotta know what we're expecting. So season four is going to come out in six, five, six days. All right. And what they normally patch in that time is what needs to be addressed the most. So we can say after the zigzag cheese is gone, the shooting was nerfed a little bit. What else needs to be patched? What else is a big problem in the game? You can't really think of nothing, right? But there is one issue that I'm going to say is going to, to get an actual buff. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's gonna be a buff. And that is the paint defense. And I agree on current gen and next gen. The paint defense need to be slightly buffed, bro. Because I like if you played current gen, especially, you can be bodying up with somebody with Hall of Fame Intimidator. But if he has, you know, what I'm saying, if he's like the same height as you, it usually goes in. And as a, a two-way, what what's my build on current gen? A two-way, um, uh, two-way shark. Just I'm jumping at big men. I'm jumping at them, bro. Hands in their face, hands in their face and everything, and they, they're still making everything over me, bro. And I understand, like, yo, you're a guard. A center should be able to do that. No, they should not, bro. If if it's a bad center, and I'm going up and contesting him, he should miss that shot. Even two-way wings, like a 6'8 wing, are just finishing over me like I'm nothing. I'm like 6'4", 6'5", 6'5", by the way. You know what I'm saying? Even with some of my big men. I watched my big man get torched by a seven foot Goliath. <laughs> he made all the right moves, jumped at the right time. But let me tell you something, the paint defense is so bad it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? And you could say, oh that's supposed to be like the yo, your 6'9 paint beast, it shouldn't be able to contest a seven foot. Then you haven't played any other 2K but this 2K if you're going to say that. I promise you, you haven't played any of the 2K. So with that being said, I feel like that's going to be a problem that's going to be addressed in the next season. You know what I'm saying? The paint defense. So with that being said, I made a build to counter that and to, to be able to play along with it. So let's just get right into it, bro. No more playing around. So what you want to go is small four for this build. Make sure you have on the metric system, not the imperial system. So you can just have a bit of, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a bit of an advantage because you're going to need the metric system for this one. You're going to need it, bro. I, I promise you. So put the metric system on and then come back here. How you put the metric system on, bro? You just go to settings and you're going to see Imperial system. Just switch it to metric and then come back here. I promise you. It's easy. So go small forward, right handed. Jersey number is whatever. It doesn't matter. So the height we're going right now is 1.99 meters, which translates to 6 foot 6 feet. You know, we have to go. To the metric system because it measures your player in, sh in you know smaller smaller measurement units than whatever the imperial system uses by feet whatever so basically here we could go six six and still have the stats and the benefits of a player that's six five right offensive stats by the way so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go 1.99 meters right the weight we're gonna stick with 98 kilograms and the wingspan, 
we're gonna max that joint out and why we're gonna max it out bro we gotta max it out so we can be able to get our driving dunk to the max it could go and our defense is going to be way higher as well like i said playing the paint defense is going to be way more beneficial in season four because i feel like it's going to get a buff you know what I'm saying it's not hard to put to put the puzzles together you know say this is what we're gonna do so let's get to it so let's talk about these stats by the way let's go let's go so for the close shot i put it at a 75 just so i can get quick twitch or you know saying a fast twitch whatever on on gold we need that on gold because we're gonna have limitless takeoff and posterizer on hall of fame so the driving layup i just stuck to the sweet spot at an 80 you know saying i feel like that's the most the sweet spot and we're gonna be six six so it, it's it's gonna be you know we're gonna be tall so it's, it doesn't really matter 80 is enough to get the job done i feel like if a 75 can get it done at 80 could get it done you feel me the driving dunk i went 99 99 maximum potential driving dunk just to get the hall of fame posterizer if you have not played on the 1v1 court bro i promise you a 99 dunk is something serious it's something serious and i'm gonna tell you what i'm going to make this build and show you guys exactly what this build can do i promise you it's an investment that i'm willing to make because this build is so overpowered it's just unstoppable and i played enough of this game to know what you can and can't do you know saying in this game and i promise you this build is going to be like that so the mid-range shot i went with a 76 a 76 mid-range shot a 83 which is going to be crazy which is actually good considering that i maxed out my wingspan so 80 is definitely good you know saying we still get hall of fame sniper and all those other badges silver hot zone hunter which is more than enough silver chef you know saying we get all the the badges that we need stop and pop uh a volume shooter on gold you gotta realize i'm gonna go to college and get four more shooting badge upgrades that's three four five six and then I got the extra badge upgrade for when I hit level 40 in season three. So you got to realize, actually season two, I hit level 40. So that's five extra badge points for shooting. So that's 27 badge upgrades, bro. I can use that for any category I want, but I feel like shooting is the most beneficial to this build, either shooting or defense. So that's what I'm going to go for. See, we're almost at the 20s with every single category. 23 finishing, 22 shooting, 25 playmaking, and 18 defensive badge upgrades. So for the playmaking, I'm going for 80 passing accuracy just because I want to use that extra five points that I was going to use just to get gold bullet passer for something even more beneficial. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go, we're gonna max out our ball handle and we're gonna max out our speed with ball so we can get that gold quick first step. That's very important in this. We need gold quick first step. That's why I went the height I did in max wingspan. We need gold quick first step. Hoping that y'all copied everything right here. You see right here, the height 6'6, six, six. weight. I think that says 216. I can't even read from here, bro. I'm blind, actually. I need my glasses. I don't even have my glasses. And wingspan is seven foot three right so speed with ball is at 80 which we need to get gold quick first step which is very important when you have in this build quick chain as well that's why we have 84 ball handle so let's go to the defense the defense is cool you know what i'm saying i feel like the sweet spot for both the perimeter defense and steel is 86 so we have that both for 86 that's what we need for gold pickpocket is 86 so we're good on that you know what I'm saying my other beard doesn't even get 86 steel honestly so this is actually more beneficial for me because my defense went up the block is going to be a 75 though a 75 block gets me like silver intimidator what you call it um silver rim protector i don't even know what block it yeah it does it does i'm tripping it does it does <laughs> we get chase down artists on silver all those block blocking defensive like paint defensive badges is going to be so important for season four i'm trying to tell you guys especially with this buff bro the defense we're going to be able to play is going to be phenomenal phenomenal on this build you gotta understand this build is going to be lethal bro it's lethal I'm telling you, bro, just for the fact that it gets a 99 driving duck, I might upgrade it my damn self. I need a build I can go on the 1v1 court and just play 
and try to get level 40 fast you know so you're not always gonna have a squad so i feel like more content for me if i could just have a build that goes on the 1v1 court and dominates every single matchup a center it doesn't matter it doesn't even matter uh, a guard it doesn't matter i could guard guards this build could guard any position one through five i feel like bro with the buff season four is going to give us defensively <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going to be fair so season four is going to be focused on defense i hope you guys realize that by now season four is just going to be focused on defense we're going to need a defensive badge i mean a defensive build that can guard one through five and i feel like this build is going to be able to do it i'm not going to lie to you so the last stat we got to go through is the uh, uh defensive rebounding i feel like i put that out of 58 just so i can get those boards you know we're already going to be tall so I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna have a center on my team. You know, we're gonna get the boards at what what is that? 58? That's gonna be more than enough to get it over them guards, whoever you're guarding. So yeah. I don't wanna talk about that, you know what I'm saying? Look, it is what it is. So let's just go to the physicals. The speed and acceleration is maxed out. The vertical is at an 80. I put it at an 80 just so I can get um the contact dunks and the stamina needs to be at a 95. It's very important that you guys make sure you have that 80 vertical. You know what I'm saying? That's how you unlock the elite contact dunks. For the, you unlock the elite contact dunks, the requirements are a 92 driving dunk and 80 plus vertical. So we're gonna have the minimum requirement, which is 80. So we're good on that. We can unlock elite contact dunks. You know, so once you upgrade this guy, he's a rebirth. So mind you, you can go all the way to 90. So you'll be able to upgrade all your physicals and damn near all your the stats that you need to play in the park or go crazy or whatever. Make sure you upgrade it to that 99 drop and dunk first, just so it'd be easy to grind those finishing badges. You know what I'm saying? So once you got all that down, you know what I'm saying? Every requirement, 95 stamina, 90, um, 80 vertical. 81 acceleration 83 speed you know what I'm saying all the other stuff that's going to help you in this process because i feel like this build is going to be a goat all around it's going to be an all-around goat then we gotta get to the takeover finishing moves is one of the best slashing takeovers i'm not gonna lie especially if you like driving to the paint and using the right stick to dunk I feel like that's it, bro. That's it. You go crazy in the secondary takeover. It could be. It don't have to be nothing crazy, especially since you don't get shooting. Uh, takeover. Just go with the extreme clamps. Extreme clamps is gonna help you phenomenally, phenomenally on the defensive end. Like I said, season four is gonna be focused on defense. So why not have a defensive takeover, bro? It really doesn't matter, considering the fact that if it's a rebirth, you're most likely gonna have the Mamba mentality badge anyway. So you could change this whenever you feel like it. <laughs> And when you finish all of this, it's going to give you a two-way slash and playmaker, bro. Two-way slash and playmaker. One of the best builds in 2K21 and 2K... Actually, 2K20, 21, current gen, and 22 current gen. So I ain't gonna lie. This build is going to be it, bro. Is it? It's it! It is it! I ain't gonna lie! I ain't gonna lie! This build will get upgraded. I ain't gonna lie. 99 driving dunk seems fun as hell to play with, bro. So, hey, if you guys didn't already, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, do all that other stuff because we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. It's, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you know, that's, a little, that's a little much, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing crazy, but it's 10,000. First, first 10,000, you know, many more to go. 90K to go <laughs> to get to 100K. You know what I'm saying? 900K to go to a milli from there so hey let me know if you guys like the video until my next one bro i'm gonna see you on the flip side